right there. Right there. There it is. Look at that finger. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back. Uh, it has been a, a little bit, but we had a Christmas or a Christmas vacation. Great movie. Uh, I got a lot of, I got a Christmas story. Great movie. From my Christmas vacation. That would be an awesome movie. A Christmas story from a Christmas vacation. Uh, copyright. Welcome back. I am dressed uh, warmly because it's cold outside. I am in the Midwest. It's cold. And I've also got a little cold. So I've got my hat on. I look different. No, this yellow plant. It's not a cool yellow plant. That's a, those are dying leaves. Uh, I'm so sad about that. So welcome back. I hope everybody had a great new year. Uh, let's get 2022 off to a good start. And so I'll, the way that I'm doing that is make myself a toy. Not make me into a toy, but make a toy for myself. Uh, a custom figure. You know, just take, take, a, take a second to breathe and like, what would I like uh, for me? Do something for me. Right now, everybody is steeped, or at least I am. Star Wars is my all-time favorite thing. And... Uh, as it, as it is, I'm sure, a lot of you out there. You guys too, right? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Book of Boba Fett is going on, and even though I've pre-ordered all the Book of Boba Fett stuff, there really aren't that many toys. I think I saw a plushie or something like that in Target, but it's got a plastic head on a plushie. It doesn't make sense. Uh, recently, a little shout-out to Onel Design. They did. They released a little Boba Fett, a little Boba Fett, a little cutie, a little cutie Boba Fett figure. Let's okay. make that clear. Is this how you do it? You hold your hand up behind it? It's not working. I don't know. Yeah, so that's cool. I got that. Uh, but it wasn't good enough. So what I decided to do was make... I, I am absolutely in love and enamored and inspired by Boba Fett's new digs. Uh, that he kind of has... It's been evolving since the tragedy in The Mandalorian. What was it episode four or five? Where he got... He came back. His full comeback in the armor so amazing i'd love to have that figure too uh, but none of those exist for now and it's going to be months until we see those so i decided to make my own custom book of boba fett action figure there he is look at that six inch black here black series uh, and i wanted to showcase him i wanted to run through how i made him this because i pre-ordered all this stuff and there's all this stuff coming we know that uh, I decided to not do, see, see how quick I could get them done because I have people waiting on commissions and I, I want to uh, put those as a priority. But I, so I didn't do any sculpting on this. I, I tried to see what I could do without sculpting and just a kit bash and a repaint. And that's what he is. And I'm very proud of it. Like it's pretty close to screen accurate minus the belt is Django Fett's, whatever, I don't care. And I don't know, the boots are a little different, you know? So anyway, I'm going to run through and for you guys and explain how I made this guy. This book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett. What? Wait, with the finger. Where is it? What? What? I'm going to grab some oats because I got the whole, like, you know, cold thing going on. I'm going to set him down and I'm going to pass it off to AC. Take it away. All right. So here is my... Book of Boba Fett, Six Inch Black series, uh, Boba Fett figure. I, as I mentioned just a minute ago, uh, you know the background of this. I just, I pre-ordered everything that there is to pre-order, but none of it's here. And I really wanted to have a figure to sit with me while I'm watching the show. I absolutely love this new design of Boba Fett. Um, and I mean, I, I love it. I've been a Boba Fett fan since since I was a kid and I'm probably repeating myself but I know I'm repeating myself but I can't express enough admiration and inspiration that I gain, have and gain from this design I love it so what I did was I started with a carbonized Boba Fett figure old school Boba Fett and I realized that this is not entirely screen accurate but for me it's close enough at least until mine gets here I know the belt is Django's, and that's uh, that's obviously different. Uh, the boots are a little bit different, and he probably has a different jetpack at this point. So this is the old school one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And 
but I'm okay with that. I don't care because he looks awesome and I think he looks pretty close. Now, one thing I want to note is that my camera or my lighting is making this green uh, way more green than it actually is in real life. It's got a more forest brown texture or uh, color to it than, than you're seeing. But anyway, I don't care. Uh, and you probably don't either. So running through carbonized Boba Fett in his old school outfit. And you can't, you can't see because I covered it up with cloth, but uh, well, we'll get to that. So other than that, I want, my goal was to make a figure that I didn't, with no sculpt. It was entirely kit bashed and then obviously painted. So there's no sculpting on this. I didn't do any sculpting, which was interesting. It was a challenge because you gotta, <clears throat> you gotta figure out a way to make fine pieces, make things work uh, in places that they don't. And that's why the belt is the way it is and, and everything else. Uh, you can also see in the back here, some details that I included, similar to what his actual belt looks like at the back. Um, and I based that on this bust statue that I found on uh, pictures of online that sort of had I would say from midpoint back and around to the midpoint, the belt's pretty accurate uh, with the exception of this strap here, but uh, the front of it, he's missing his belt buckle and some more 2B gun things. Anyway, but let's see, carbonized Boba Fett, the, this outer black cloth is a black t-shirt, uh, an old Prince t-shirt that was torn and I wanted to put it to good use. Uh, the under and his leg cloth is a Kylo Ren cape, which I've got the sort of uh, remnants of, or a few more remnants here, so you can kind of tell it's got that texture to it, right? Uh, let's see, so I wrapped that, I, I, cut, I cut up his entire cloak, Kylo Ren's, and I wrapped that all the way around his legs, you can see there, each leg, and it only goes up to about, I only wrapped it about as high as... Uh, the thigh swivel on the figure because they didn't want to inhibit any articulation and he's totally still got um, that, that thigh swivel so it's in there didn't inhibit it uh, then then I added the two these two pieces to sort of cover up the crotch uh, armor and the upper leg and then overlaid the t-shirt and it works right look at the back look at that. layers Tuscany it's very Tuscany right uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is, this uh, holster is from the original Boba Fett carbonized. The knee cannons or armor also from that. These are Kylo, let's see, Kylo Ren's lower legs, but it's got Boba Fett's thighs that, you, that I said were covered up obviously. So other than that, carbonized Boba Fett, Kylo Ren lower leg, that's all I got. The, I also included some fabric here that I cut, which is still, you can see it's still uh, uh, malleable or flexible, but it is glued in underneath the shoulder armor. So it stays, you know, like through articulation, it stays there. And same over here, good, blah, blah, blah. Very nice. The, let's see, I think other than that, oh, and then the scarf is also Kylo Ren's. Uh, you can see the texture there little holes that they put in it, it just work. I just cut pieces of it, uh, super glued it in place where I needed to, and and it did its thing, it worked. Uh, let's see, it, I think that brings us to the paints, and as far as paints go, let me show you what I, what I used. Let me put him right here. And let's see, I mixed my own green from Vallejo. What is that? Verde, Verde Green Goblin and Green Oscura. Uh, that, that's for the green. I, pro I also added a little bit of my uh, Tester's leather. I love that. That's a great color. And probably, uh, definitely a little bit of Gunship Gray from Tester's, Model Masters. The rest of the paints that I used were, um, let's see, one Citadel, Balth Balthazar, Balthazar Gold, which actually looks more like bronze, which is why I used that. Just in little little details. And his belt here, you can see that's that Balthazar bronze gold stuff. The rest of it was all Tester's Model Masters. So I got my flat black, 
Uh, I, re I really love their insignia, and unfortunately, they don't. These are out. They don't make these anymore. Uh, insignia yellow. I like. I love their insignia colors. Insignia blue. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Insignia red here. Really good, solid primary colors. Flat white, always a staple. I mix it in with almost everything I do. And then there's silver, whatever the next two words are. Uh, good silver, I use that in other places as well. Uh, there was one other gold, oh, the silver and a little bit of the bronze mixed for a little bit of gold details with my pointer here over here on the jet pack and those were my colors my brushes I always use what you got here um, these are artist loft brushes that I used and I believe these are the proprietary Michaels store art store I think that's their proprietary brand uh, so I use these three just for this one I have all different kinds of sizes but those are the three that I that I used Bubba back down for one second. Uh, let's see, size wise, they are, does it even say? Yeah, you can see it right here. 10 0, 18 0, 0. This is it just 0? I guess it's just 0. Those are the sizes. I also used, I found these at Dick Blick. Some of these blue ones. Princeton Select. It's a, a 2. That's a good brush. I use that for most of the. Uh, most of the larger areas of coverage. And then I always hang on to old brushes when they start to fray. This is a real old one, American Painter, 4500, Filbert, whoever that is, or four, number four. I, I hang on to old brushes even when they fray, and this one's still pretty good, but I use this for dry brushing um, and all kinds of old ones. I've got a whole cup of old brushes. My trusty, always use this guy, I always have this guy around, my trusty X-Acto knife, be very careful, blades are sharp. Uh, my plastic snips, I use those, snip plastic, be, be careful with that. And then I know we, as artists we all, and customizers, we all have our own favorite sort of homemade tools. So this was off of a, like a pocket knife I took it off of years ago. And I like this because it's got this curved edge and it's flat. And so I can like smooth things out with it. So if there's a paint bubble on something and it dried like that, I missed it. As long as it's not cured, I can sort of rub this on it and flatten it out. Very helpful. Amongst other things, scraping stuff. It's a great little tool. I've had that for years. Here's Boba Fett's rifle. I didn't really do any, I didn't do anything to it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I also know that's not screen accurate to his new one. Uh, look up that Nerf, the new Nerf one. It's a good example of what it actually looks like. But I always loved Boba Fett's old, old rifle blaster. He does have his his uh, pistol. That's just the one that came with it. I painted it darker brown just because it was carbonized, so it had a sort of a metallic sheen to it. And then that brings us to the paints. Where's my little... And I always use this silicone pointer to like point and stuff so I can touch stuff without hurting it. Um, but I, I, this is all covered in green on his chest. The one thing I painted around, two things I painted around, his chest emblem, the wheat, the sign of his clan, that. And then also my favorite, the mythosaur, which I have this tattoo, got this in 1996, painted around that with the yellow. Uh, for the yellow, I mixed my insignia brown, or my leather brown and my insignia yellow. Painted all the yellow spots there. Uh, the red is just insignia red. Black is flat black. Uh, what else is there? I gave his his boots uh, darker. I darkened some brown and I gave it a dry brush of gray, which you can see there uh, over the black, just to bring out the details and give it a little dusty. You know, he's been, been walking in Tatooine and most Vespa and stuff like that. Uh, he, I, 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 he has details on his almost like finger gloves did that painted the whole belt black then over with a dark reddish brown that I mixed and then uh, a wash in between the pockets that you can see there of black blackish brown dark brown he's got uh, silver highlight details on the metallic parts of his gauntlets and over on the backpack, I repainted this entire thing to look like the bust, the mini bust that I told you about 
even though the sculpt isn't there to reflect the new uh, jetpack that he has, the base of it is very similar. And so I painted, for instance, uh, these green bars here and the red here, I painted those in, in, on the backpack, on the actual backpack it's sculpted. That's just what I had to deal with. The red, gray, the red and green of his helmet. I also painted around these yellow, yellow bars because they were just too good, and I, I didn't want to have to fiddle with uh, painting over and painting over and painting over. I gave him a, I painted his visor flat black, and then gave it a uh, gloss overcoat with this Liquitex, Liquitex gloss varnish. I love that stuff. It's great. Put him over here. Two coats of that over the visor, give it the shine, sheen, and then his famous dent. Uh, I highlighted with some silver, and there were areas on the cloth that I got a little paint on, and I just went over those with black, um, flat black, in the areas that needed touch up, and that'll stay pretty much forever. So uh, let's see. Backpack still comes off. Still comes off. You can see his back is green and that's pretty much it right i think that's everything man i love this thing i can't wait for the official you know the official version but i love this design so much and he still retains all the articulation in his knees you know so he can do like his his now famous dart dart pose or captain morgan thing whatever you want to call it where he blows people away with his knees. How awesome is that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, and he's still... Uh, I'm going to give him another day to cure before I start putting his weapons in his hands, but he can definitely hold those. I don't want the paint to chip. Let, that, let your paints cure at least a day, 24 hours, if not more. Um, if you can help it, you know, a couple days of curing will help that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Man, I love it. Really nice? You love it? Everybody loves it. Let's put him over here. All right, AC, take it away. There you go. All right, that's fun. It's a fun, neat, neat little little thing, little cutie thing. Little, little thing. I'm I'm really enjoying uh, the book of Boba Fett. You know, I know it's not perfect by any means, and and, I, and honestly, The Mandalorian is a better quality show, but. I recently re also relaunched my Star Wars podcast, I Have Spoken. Links are in the description. You can check that out. For my comeback episode, I had a, my buddy Joseph Fresh on, and he said, and I'm paraphrasing, it was such a great line. He said, at our age, it's so awesome, regardless of how you feel about the choices, quality, creative, whatever. It's so awesome that 35, 40 years later, we are still watching getting Boba Fett's story, watching Boba Fett on, on the screen. And I think that's something that people lose track of, lose, lose sight of, and it's such a great statement as to uh, where we are in our pop culture and Star Wars universe, and uh, I'm thankful for that as well. So, especially, man, this design, I mean, give me a break. This is, this just, I never thought Boba Fett would look like that. Boba Fett already was the coolest, right? And now he looks like this, and he's double coolest. He's double coolest. You guys remember to like and subscribe and bell icon the video uh, all your links are going to be below in the description of the stuff i used to make this uh, the figures the tools which you all you got to see in the in the video the paints i'm going to also put in the description uh, a link to my instagram which is my main social media that and youtube kind of go back and forth it's the main social media hub for me uh, at ac toy design and if you would like to check out the Star Wars podcast, that's I Have Spoken. And I also do, I'll just mention this, I also do a horror podcast called Death by Podcast. I'll link that below too in case you want it. Uh, but if you would like to support this channel directly, which is greatly appreciated, I have a Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Design, And that has my other podcast, another podcast, I love podcasting, called You Like Toys, where I do a weekly Q&A with the community. I share pickups and hauls, tips and tutorials, all kinds of uh, giveaways and contests. 
It's also the only place that you can find, that you can get commissions by me. I only take commissions through Patreon. And there's a couple tiers for that. There's all kinds of different tiers. Pick the one that's best for you. That's uh, patreon.com slash Design. And you'll be joining an awesome community. What are you doing here, buddy? You're in the way of uh, my oats, man. Turn around. Turn around. You're in the way of my oats. Look at this. I got like a little friend. I got like three friends here. I got another little friend over there behind me. What are you doing, bud? What? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm going to stop talking. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thumbs up, right? That's what we did. This is the new setup, by the way. I'm just, I'm just simplifying. You know, keeping it simple. Got my stuff behind me. One of these times, if you guys want, let me know. I'll give you a tour of the place. Whatever, all my toys. Got my over there and stuff. Mood. Mood. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thumbs up. Boba, do it. Oats. Get some oats. Look at that. Sit, Muji, sit. Good dog. <laughs>